Hello? Hi. Is this thing on? Okay, there we go. Okay, we're good. I think. There we go. Scared the shit out of you. Sorry. Dramatic seal music? No, this is some music from The Last Door that we were streaming yesterday. Which is a beautiful game. With a beautiful soundtrack. Oh. We finished the last door last night, actually. I'm just gonna do the extras. Don't you start with me. And beautiful crows? Yes, beautiful crows. How am I? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Okay. Goodbye. I'll miss you, The Last Door soundtrack, but we gotta play The Last Door. That, that face, Fred. One could possibly say that you're slightly fixated on the diergasm. Confirm, deny? Okay, here we go. Why does my microphone look wonky? What are you doing? Go, go back. I'm gonna put a little bit more under that side because that's wording me out a bit. There you go. We're gonna shoot the new Silent Hill teaser. Still don't have my PS4. Give you a shout out, but murder me. I, I don't do shout outs. <laughs> okay. I don't know what these extras are gonna be like, so. Morgs are nice places, right? The sky is cloudy outside. Good lord, what a mess. The skin is all scorched. Cause of death is probably shock caused by the sudden burns. A horrible way of passing. What could lead a man of God to commit such an act? Oh! Is this the, is this the father from Act 2? All that remains is to file the medical report so he can receive the proper treatment a fine gentleman deserves. <laughs> Hi, Twitch chat, Fred. Hello, hello, hello. Um, I don't want to perform an autopsy, thank you. There must be something wrong with the water pressure valve. This case still puzzles me. If he wanted to commit suicide, why did he do it in such a painful manner? Was he drugged or intoxicated? I should check his stomach for signs of poisoning. Oh no. All right, the stomach looks fine on the outside. Now I should cut it open to check its contents. Scissors? I would need a sharper blade. Scalpel again. Oh, seal cam? Okay, give me a second. Hi, Zazie. Spook. Seal cam. Okay. Rouse. Seal scared too. Actually, I think that's the wrong seal scared. That, that just looks like I'm humping something. <laughs> 
<laughs> Image, browse, seal scare three. There it is. What is this? There's something strange in here. It looks like a piece of paper. It is a note. Ernest Glynn, Jeremiah DeWitt, Alexander D. Hugo something. A crumpled note with four names, one of them crossed out. I think I should inform the inspector immediately. That's creepy, dude. Oh, they're just small little snippets. Death sentence. Francis Baldwin. After being certified of your guilt by a peer jury, we find you guilty of the wicked and violent murders of 14 innocent and sick people. Because of this sentence, I am hereby authorized to execute you this very moment by hanging to death in the sight of God. Would you like to make a final statement before we proceed? <laughs> Why will you say that I am mad? You should have seen how mercifully I proceeded. With what love? I saved them. I released them. Now they are in a better place. Do you still believe I am mad? I guess they did. She is the only survivor. What happened to the others? They are all dead. I would like to talk to her. Mood whiplash, just a bit. She has only spoken nonsense since she woke up. Miss Parnell is staring meditatively at this small plant. Meditatively, yes. Okay. Good afternoon, my name is J Johann Kaufmann. I am a doctor. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Please be careful with what you ask. Miss Parnell's state is delicate. I am perfectly fine and able to talk, sister. Thanks for your consideration. Now, doctor, I understand you want me to repeat my story. I would be thankful to hear it indeed. Hi, Chuck. I will stay outside if you need me, no full stop. I am a sane woman, Doctor, in complete control of my mind and reason. You do not da dare to question it. I certainly wouldn't. Then I will commence. I woke up in the dark. The room was small, so narrow that I could touch the wooden nails just by raising my elbows. Could you recognize the place? I couldn't tell at first. For a moment, a most dreadful thought crossed my mind. What if I had been buried alive? When I got out, I found myself in my parents' house. I hadn't been there since since they sent me to school. Did you see anybody there? Your parents, or maybe someone you know? No, they were not in the house, nor was any servant I had known in the years of my childhood. I was alone. I could feel the humid air in my skin, and I could smell the scent of the long time abandoned. I walked the rooms, unsettled by the silence. The place had the bleak feel of, ru of a ruin. Then I saw someone. In the opposite end of the corridor, an old woman stared at me. Did you talk to her? I tried to, but she did not answer, and she walked away when I tried to get closer. I followed her out through the back alley and into the streets. I got lost in the burg of Aberdeen. The streets were deserted and a thick fog covered everything. I thought I had seen the woman through the fog once or twice, but they could have been just shadows. Didn't you see anyone? So the city was empty? No, not completely. I met some people. Vagabonds. One of them was a priest. I remember a novelist and a boy, too. So the boy, what about him? 
Rest in peace, Jen! I came across an abandoned carriage. The horse was long dead, its bones still harnessed to the cart. Uh, there's one more day after this and on 4053. There was a young man petting the carcass of the animal. Could you talk to this young man? He was deaf, but I think he could read my lips. When he spe spoke, he did with a clear accent. He said he could only listen to the songs of the departed. I met him in a stable. Good lord, he said mass there, among the beasts. Could you imagine the profanity? Tell me more about the novelist. The woman had never written a word. She created only her mind, you know. She could tell the story sentence by sentence with perfect precision, and I could even hear a piece of her last work. Burrito, if you're just gonna rag on the game, can you please go? Yes, the piece, to uh, the piece she told me was something like, The shadows of the past soon melted within the land that loves silence. Through the fog they walked and found themselves lost. Hoping for a sign from their gods, they set camp on the beach where thirty birds awaited to meet their crown. What happened then? As I walked, the fog got denser. I could barely see anything around. I finally met the old woman. She didn't say a thing, but gave me a cardboard card. Then she left. She gave you a playing card? It was one of those used to tell fortune. There was a drawing on it of a veiled person holding a lamp. Where are their faces? They have no faces! Spooky! Then the mist seemed to clear out and I could finally see. What could you see? A barren land bathed by roaring waves. There were thousands of birds. And then I realized there was something else. What was it? It was there. It looked at me. The burning dark inside. The shaking. The scream. That vision that I cannot understand. What is it, Doctor? Have I finally lost my strength of mind? I believe you. I'm sure that what you lived was real. But I'm afraid that I currently lack any proof that I can confirm your account. I am sorry. I should leave. Thank you for your time. Wait, Doctor, I have something else to say. When I first woke up here, there was something beside me. Would this be enough proof? It looks like a tarot card. This looks happy and nice. You know, your father was a complicated man. He had a strong character and was stubborn as a mule when he had taken a determination. He believed he had a mission in this world, though I am not entirely sure what he knew exactly what it was. That which avoids description, the unknown, provides men with a reason to exist. I knew it would come to this. Your father was a terrible mess of a man. I am only grateful he brought you to our home, soon enough, not long after you were born. I hold no doubt that you will learn from his bad example and grow up to be a righteous gentleman. What could there be greater than the efforts of mortals to rise from their miserable condition? This is the wake for Anthony Beechworth, I'm assuming? Or it's Anthony Beechworth's father. This is basically the extras for the last door. He does not look dead, but just asleep. I barely knew him, busy as he was travelling the world. What would be of man with no aspiration for the other side to inspire or lead him? <laughs> this is an obscure domain, it's secrets taken by man from the silence of nature and death. 
You are the young Beechworth, is that right? Your father left you everything, Anthony. Okay, so this is the death of Anthony's father. This house, his accounts, and all his belongings for you to receive when you come of age. He was very specific in his testament, though, that you should receive this promptly, his personal book log. These are the memoirs of my life, my research and knowledge of the other side. Use them wisely, son. Are these stories connected to the chapters just as flavour, really? Like, they don't have much spook, they're just interesting things to look at. So that was the extras for the last door. I'm sorry for anyone that didn't actually see the main game. Because that's not going to make any sense to you. But we will move on. To a clock tower. Hooray! Because I totally remember what I was doing. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Why is Lamb's British accent so good? Well, it might have something to do with me being a Brit. Okay, let's see. S clock. No, not clock. Cock tower. Clock. I'm trying to type around my microphone. Clock tower. Update. Okay. Oh, shit. You guys have a choice. Would you like the SNES clock tower or the PS1 clock tower? You have until I manage to find my controller. Oh god, all these wires are twisted and awful. SNES, 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 Xbox 360 clock tower, okay. Here we go. Sorry for moving my microphone around so much, it's not very stable. The one I like most? Oh no, you can't ask me to have an opinion, man! Yeah, okay, I'll do the SNES one. It's really weird, but my microphone's not sitting evenly. Can't figure out why. Oh well, whatever. Load. Um, do you guys want me to start this again, or just resume from where I last was, wherever the hell that was? Do I do any knitting? No. <laughs> Restart. Resuming, restart, restart, because why not? Start over. Resume, start again, start over. A heavy drinker, heavy smoker? Nick, neither. Resume. Restart. Hello, dear boy. I'm hearing a lot of- I'm seeing a lot of start. <laughs> Raised in the Granite Orphanage, Jennifer and her friends were wanted as adopted daughters. I need to make sure the volume's good. It happened in September. Oh, 
Honestly, there's I only got like five minutes into the game. I had like one big event. Oh, hold on, we can't see it yet? Oh shit, it didn't capture right. Give me a second. Game capture. There you go. Sorry about that. That should be captured right now. Miss Mary, yes, from now on, what kind of place will we be living in? That's the fifth time you asked. I'm trying to work out if that ratio is right. Don't worry, it is a very nice place. We're almost there. See? Do I use Easy Cap or Ava Media? I use Ava Media. Hi, Colin. Colin, I tried to play a league game today and the owner was being dumb and yelling at me every time. And then eventually Leona did something so dumb that everyone was like, It's not Jinx, it's Leona! And I was like, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we still lost, but I was, I was happy. We gotta save Jen. Okay. This is the quest to save Jen. Hey, Anne. You want to know what kind of guy Mr. Barrows is, right? Not particularly. Yes! What is it? I'm starting over because there's a bunch of people that haven't seen it and I only got like a few minutes in progress wise. This house makes me uneasy. What is it? Is something wrong? I pay for Ava Media? No. I just have an Ava Media capture card and I got the software with it. Why is the screen tiny? Is it? Um, that's kind of as big as I can get it, I think. I'll try add... I mean, I think if I try and add window, it's gonna show all the other crap. Yeah, it is. It's bigger, though. Hold on. Maybe I can do... I do that. Does that stretch it? Oh no. <laughs> How do I sub window again? Settings? Nope, that's not what I wanted. Uh, uh, what do I want? I don't remember what I did last time. Without the FPS border, I probably just did this. Like that. And then... Position size... Center. Does that look stretched if I do it like that? It's probably off center too. Is it hurting anyone? <laughs> Difficulties? No, does it look fine now? I can't tell. 
It's good? Okay. I trust you, man. What happened to Mrs. Mary? Don't have a clue. Hey, can you go by Mrs. Mary? I would, but you won't let me out of this room. Mary, she's taking a long time. Should I go find Mrs. Mary? No, I'll go look for her. Oh shit, do you see those eyes? What was that? I didn't see her the first time. This isn't funny. Dot dot dot. I wanna go in here. I don't think I want to go in here yet. Go away. Did you miss much? No, just the extras from the last door. <laughs> 